The Reckoners. In a more unconventional direction, joining me now are Ron and Russell Mayo, who for roughly 20 years have been putting out records with the most bizarre titles. Before they explain how and where, and possibly why the inspiration strikes in the way it does, let's get a glimpse of the latest, now that I own the BBC. What was I thinking? What was I thinking? What was I thinking? kind of familiar sound of the sparks yeah it's got a kind of sense of where you've been and what you've been doing for the past while isn't it yeah yeah <laughs> yeah it does well put <laughs> well put <laughs> we think... couldn't have said it better but the but the title now that's something pretty radical now yeah. that i own the bbc i mean for... yeah yeah we we always like just having titles of songs and subject matter that maybe aren't your normal run-of-the-mill pop sort of lyrics just i don't know this album's our 16th album and we always just have to kind of keep coming up with ideas and things that keep us entertained and and so maybe that's why that title evolved. You did mention an, a number to the amount of records you've released over this period. It was Yeah, a, a 16 large, is 16 the, the albums. current album is the 16th. So how do you see your progression from that from day 1 to now? Well, I think by and large we still have the 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 core element of Sparks is the his lyrics and, and melodies in my singing, which makes up whatever it is that, that we have. And so occasionally what we do gets put in a different sort of musical framework. The, the, the current album has more danceable sort of elements than maybe some of the earlier albums, but I think lyrically and, and vocally and melodically even there's there's similarities between even the first and the and the sixteenth album. And it's just that sometimes we find different frameworks to hang the 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 essence of what what we have on you've described it as being uh this stylistically as being somewhat more eccentric than previous recordings what did you what did you mean by that yo know, i think on this album we didn't really worry like sometimes we do worry often about uh what we're doing and who it's for and will anyone ever hear this um and then or does it even matter so on this album we we took the approach that it really doesn't matter who is going to be listening to this album or what we're making it for, but to try to make it as uncompromising lyrically as, as, we, as we could and just hope that um, there'll be someone out there on the other end that will maybe be responding to it. There's been times in our career where we've kind of overanalyzed various periods and we said, gee, what can we do to be played more on the radio or what can we do to have a, more, uh, to have a wider audience, I think sometimes we would overreact and do something that was really foolish and knock off a lot of the character or personality that we have in, in our music just in order to try to suss out how to, how to reach a, you know, a different audience. From this album, we just said part of the strength that, that we have is in having lyrics that are kind of uncompromising and in the, the singing style and just melodically what we have and just let's just make an album that's that's appealing to ourselves and hopefully you know that'll also be sure. appealing to someone else was it was it therefore more more interesting to make the record because you actually you made it together didn't you at your home instead of going to a studio you kind of you, you did everything yeah you know, we, we were to. also more ruthless as far as editing this album because in the past we might have done what we considered eight good songs and then you have to have those other 
couple on there just because you're trying to meet a release deadline. And on this one, we were we were pretty murderous as far as the songs that we left off of this album. And we are producing ourselves now, and so that part of the production process is, is doing that. And I think we did a better job on this album than maybe some of the more recent ones. And, and did you also get a, a kind of sense of, more of a sense of fun like you probably would have had in those early days when you, when you kicked well, this whole project off? I think so, because we, we now, one of the great things that's happened that wasn't available in, in even the 80s, but especially in the 70s, was the fact that you could record at home and, have, and do professional recordings with a very limited amount of, of, of necessity for having a record company pump in a lot of money. And so, so we're able to record all the time. And that, that to us, is, it's just like a, it's a playground. It's where we can kind of get away from uh, all the analyzing that's going on around us. We have got a nice surprise for you. We, we take a look at you, at, uh, captured on Germany's top 70s and 80s show, The Beat Club, and boy, you want to see this. This will take you back. <laughs> 